Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. And once again, we are back with another video tutorial. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to save your own customized kicks, whether it be snares, kick drums, 808s, whatever. Pretty much to save it. Say you make a hot preset in a song, and you're like, man, I want to save this and maybe use it later down the road. I'm gonna show you how to save that preset with all the effects and everything, so you can just drag and drop it and use it as a preset anytime. And maybe you know, make your own custom kit that way you have your own custom sound. So. Let me show you how to do that. First of all, we're gonna find a simple 808. So I'm gonna use one of Johnny Giuliano's because he got some hard 808s. Um, let's use this one. Yeah, let's use the 808 holster. It's a good 808. All right, first step I wanna do is I wanna truncate and tune my 808. So if you don't know how to truncate, all you gotta do is turn everything down except the hold. You wanna turn the hold all the way up. And that truncate, that just means when you let go, it, let, it cuts off as soon as you let go. But if you don't want to do it that way, a, a shortcut to that is right click on the sample name right here and just click cut itself. And it does the same exact thing as if you truncated. So if you want to know that, here you go. <laughs> Next, I want to tune my 808. And if you watch my previous video, I'll show you how to tune it, but I'll go over it. You want to just click the sample right here, right click it, go to edit. It brings up Edison, hit this little marker tool and go down to detect pitch region. It's in a D, so now I go back and I select D. Now, every time I hit a D, it's a D. Same if I hit any other note, it's the actual key is supposed to be hitting. And it don't matter what range you're picking, I just usually use it in the C5 range, keep it simple. All right, next I wanna send it to a mixer channel. So to do an FL, you either just select what channel you want it in, or in FL12, it has this track button right here. If you click that, it automatically puts it in the, in the first, the next open track. So that's a good way to do that. Now let's get editing. For this video, I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be going through a quick edit to change the sound and make it sound different from the original sound. So, but this is where you play, pretty much play around when you make your own presets. So I'm just gonna do a quick little preset change. Let's see. All right, and then I'm gonna add some compression to it. My famous VC160, which is a DBX160 clone, which is a great pre, a great plugin to have, and they're all kind. I think UA and Ways make one. This one by Nave Instruments, great plugin. Or if you got the real one, good job. Okay, let's do some compression. Oh yeah, got a little lasery sound to it. Uh, add some distortion, cause distortion goes good with any 808. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice, I like that sound right there. Now here's the before. Here's the after, my preset. Sound like a completely different 808. Some similarity, but it's pretty much a new 808. So now I wanna save this 808. So how am I gonna do that? Easy. Um, first, we're gonna add a little thing right here. Add a note. I usually start on, I usually start on C. You can start on D, but I usually start on C because it's just easiest. And then I'm going to drag it out. And usually I start on the root note. And just let it play to see. Okay, that's good, Lou. I get all the sound. If I want to make sure I get all the sound. So make it as long as you need to to get the complete sound of your um, 808 or sound, snare, 808, kick drum, hi-hat, whatever. Next, I'm going to go back to the Edison we use, which is your master channel. I'm just going to cut this one. Delete it. Now here's the key to saving your own presets. You want to turn it to mono since this is a mono sound and you want to turn it to 16 bit, not 32 float, but 16. Um, wish there was a 24 bit, but there is no, so, oh well. 
you want to select you want to select this input instead of on input you want to do on play so as soon as i hit the play button it's going to start recording so we're going to aim it get it ready to go and as soon as i hit play it's going to sample it so here we go all right i let it loop about three times just to make sure i get it and i always use the second one because if you look the first one it cuts off a little bit at the beginning for some strange reason but the second one actually gets that all that loop so we're gonna drag it back out and then we're just gonna double click double click on this marker and it's gonna highlight inside this marker and we're just gonna trim it go down to the scissor tool and trim boom now i have my custom 808 sample And all I gotta do is go to right click, or not right click, but left click the little um, floppy disk is thingy, floppy disk icon, and save it. And I'm gonna save it in my kits, and I have a kit called Mr. Different TV Kits, and we're gonna go to Custo 808. Yeah, now if I go to my little, oh no, if I go to my, where is it at? Mr. Different TV. Where is it? It's not in there. Okay. Patches, projects. And it's just change up something real quick. Files. Boot to boot to boot to boot 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 Image line. That's real. Cut. And then we go to my hard drive. See, not beach for sale. Image line data, and then patches, and then make sure. Okay, so it's patches, and now if I go to patches, oh, patches, there it is. Haha, <laughs> just had to refresh it. So you might have to close your FL Studio for the actual show. Now here it is. I can drag it in there and there's the sound but see now I got a truncated of course so if I truncate it turn off that normalize now custom k to kick sound so that's the quick way or pretty much the best way to save custom sounds that way, just so you can build your own customized kits and you can also have your own unique sound and save them. And you don't have to keep remembering or, you know, using up your um, computer processing power by adding them the same effects over and over and over every time. You just drag and drop, boom, you're ready to go. It's ready to hit. And you can change that up some more too and make that to a new custom sound. So hopefully, hopefully this video helped y'all, you know, and, you know, get y'all the think be creative and start making your own sound and making your own unique sound and being original. Because like I say, I tell people, it costs too much and takes too much time to be like somebody else. It's a whole lot easier to just be yourself and make your own sound and, you know, be creative. Don't try to copy other people. Try to be you and do what you do. So with that being said, I hope this video will help. Y'all know who it is. Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, Mr. Not Motivated by the Money. But the like, comment, subscribe, and views. Keep them coming, and I'll keep on making videos. So with that being said, I shall see y'all in the next video. So y'all have a nice day. See y'all next time.